Hi, welcome to today's video. It is a hair tutorial per request. You've noticed a lot of changes going on up here. Uh, I went shorter and I went redder. So to answer the first question, the hair color is a combination of a medium auburn, a mahogany, and a red copper. So there are three different colors going on in here and you'll see that once it's blown out. Right now it looks pretty much brown because it's wet. The next question is what kind of a haircut do you have? And it's called a pixie bob because it has the potential of being worn as a pixie or a bob. And as you'll see by my parting it here in the middle area, you will notice that I've got some length here on the sides. And that length is what gives it a bob-like quality. So I can wear it down, I can part it in the middle, I can have some length on the sides. It is stacked highly in the back, so you can see. It's very, very short and wispy back here. And then up, 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 up it goes with some shorter layers here at the top. But if I want to wear it as a bob, I can just mess it and pull it off forward. If I want to do more of a pixie style, what I would do is a deep set part on this side when I blow dry, create a lot of volume up on top of my head and up in the crown, flatten this side out, which would get pushed back and behind the ear. And then this would sweep forward and create a little bit of length around the face, but come back. So you have a lot of versatility with a cut like this because it gives you some variation. You're not stuck with one particular look. And as you know, that is something that would drive me just a little cuckoo. So I love to have options. Another great look, for instance, in the evening time is just to take it all and slick it back and do a uh, really strong type of a hair gel and have a completely pulled back look. It's like having a ponytail, but the back part would just sort of sweep down around your neck. So now that I've explained the color and the cut and what it's called, I'm going to do a blow dry for you so you can see the different options once it's dry. And before I do that, I'm going to use just a little bit of root lift um, using Wow Raise the Root product. And I will basically spray this in sections starting where I want the most volume. And that's up here at the crown of my head. So I'll just take a piece in the back here, lift it up and just spray the root area, shake it in, take a little section right here. Again, root, shake it and a little bit right here and shake it in. So I'm again focusing on the top and the crown. And then just for shine and smoothness to tame the curlies that I have, I'm using It's a 10 Silk Miracle Leave-In. And I will not get this on my scalp because it will weigh the hair down. This is essentially just right here for the ends. Sometimes it's even better to take a little bit in your hand, rub it, and that way you get a more even distribution. And I will do that for the other side. This stuff is great. Boy, does it make your hair soft and silky, manageable, and really, really nice. So again, that just goes right there on the ends. Um, my hair brushes, since my hair is shorter now, I cannot use a very large round brush. So I'm coming down to size a little bit and I'm going to use a barrel that's about, I'd say an inch and a half wide. This is a Revlon brush that I bought at my local drugstore. And um, I'm gonna work my way through with the blow dry, pushing everything forward. I'll do this till I'm about halfway dry and then I will start incorporating the brush. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to flip my hair from side to side to create volume. 
So to the left, and then to the right. Focusing on the root area. And what happens is you now see the volume starting to kick in and you see the layers up top giving it some height. All right, so I'm going to now start on one side using my brush and smoothing everything out. When I'm blowing the back, I'm really going to emphasize some lift with this brush. So instead of making it as straight as I would on the sides, I'm going to allow a little bit more bend to come in in the back area. Whenever you dry your, your front panels here, always push it forward with the blow dryer because the way the layers are cut and it, it's piecey and it's longer here, you want to train these hairs to be able to move forward like this. So the sides, we're spending more time in really smoothing and straightening. You, want, you don't want this too, too puffy here in the side. You want it a little bit flatter and smoother right in there. Now this is the part where I have to spend a lot of time because as you know, I get really curly up in here. So the technique that I've always shown you is instead of going forward and down, which creates a big poof up front, I sweep it under and I pull it forward to get a nice side swoop motion. So the front part, as you can see, I'm pulling really straight. And then where you want height, right here, we're going to create a little bit of lift with the brush. So you take your brush and you anchor it right in the part line, like so. And we're just gonna let some heat work this area. I'm gonna let that cool for a second. That combined with the Raise the Root product will make a killer lift. Now I don't want this top part to be too curly, so I still need to straighten out the ends. And the way I do that after it's cooled, I'm gonna take the brush, pull it through on high heat again.
And now I just take it and I push everything forward and I switch it to cool and do the same. Okay, blow dry is complete. And so what you have is a lot of height up here in the crown and the top of your head. It's a combination of layers that are cut in to give you a lot of versatility because this, like I said, this style can be worn a number of ways. It can be a pushed forward look like so. And then you take this part back, tuck it behind your ear, move that part forward, pull this little part forward, tuck the rest back, and you've got yourself a fun, cute little pixie bob. I think this one wants to go over here, so I'll let it. And there we go. And that's how that looks. Pulled back on one side, coming forward on the other, the back, or you can bring it more toward the middle, like I initially started with more of a bob look and you just let it come forward and I'm hoping I think you can see the the color differentiation in the hair but it's woven in like I said it's a mixture of a mahogany and a copper and an auburn all sort of pieced through so it gives it lots of lots of dimension and then um, what I did let me grab this little bobby pin on an Instagram post I had my hair sort of on a side part, like so. And I took these front pieces and I just twirled like that. And I anchored it right there with a pin. And then you can tuck the pin in behind the hair. And that's just a fun, cute, a little more of a casual and different way of wearing it. But it's you know, almost like that 1920s bob that was right just at or above the chin. And you just play with the pieces. If you get lots of layers cut in, just let them show, move them forward. And there you go. But boy, quick and easy variety. I've always said short hair is not a prison sentence. I think I need to coin that phrase because it's not. If it's cut well, cut right, you have so many options and the cool thing is just playing around with it. You can do lots of volume, you can do really flat kind of boy style, down, pulled away. I mean it is endless and I'm just happy to be able to show you tons of variety and option um, and I'm, I'm so happy um, that you responded the way you did to, to the new hair. Um, you can you can flip parts. I mean, it's just I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. It's crazy what can be done with short hair. So don't be afraid of it. If it's something that you've been thinking of and wanting to try, hey, listen, I'm I'm the encourager. Okay, I'm the one who says go for it. I've always said that the worst thing that could happen is you don't like it and you grow it in, but you may even discover in the growing in phase that you find something that suits you beautifully and you never would have known if you wouldn't have tried in the first place. I'm all about breaking out fear, breaking down boundaries, getting outside of the box, getting outside of the comfort zone and trying something new. I think when we see ourselves differently, it leads to an opportunity of doing things differently in many areas of our lives. So what are you afraid of? Have fun, go out, be bold and be blessed with whatever hairstyle you try. And I'll see you next Thursday at one. Bye-bye.